Hello guys, Gameplay Hub here. And in today's video, we are back on our iMac G3. And why you might ask? Well, in the last video with this computer, I installed Windows XP on it. And that was quite a fun experience. It was incredibly slow and painful to use, but it was still very fun to see a Windows XP install on this machine. Quite a lot of years ago, I also installed Windows 98 on this thing, and both of those videos will be in the iCards, of course, right now. But this right over here is a 400 MHz iMac G3 DV, and the DV line of iMacs was released at the back end of 1999. So Windows 98 is really too early for this model, Windows XP is of course too late, so what would be perfect? Well, unfortunately, you might know the answer. Now, recently a video of mine has been going viral, which is deleting System32 from every Windows version. And in that video, I hated quite a lot on Windows ME and Windows Vista. And some of you guys weren't really amused with that. Vista got a lot more defending in the comments, but ME actually got quite a few supporters as well. So today we're gonna see if this OS is really that bad. We're gonna install it on the iMac G3 because because this was the version that I think this program was made for. And also the Windows ME 25th anniversary is coming up quite soon. So we're gonna celebrate that as well because I think no other YouTubers will do it. Who would want to celebrate Windows ME? Ugh. So yeah, let's get started with the video. This video has been brought to you by keysfan.com. They are a very fast and reliable place if you need to activate any sort of Microsoft software. They have keys for all kinds of Office versions, Windows 11, Windows 10 and a bunch more things. And they also have their bundle deals which come with a Windows key as well as an Office key, which is just a really good deal. You can use the code GHB50 to get 50% off any product or you can use GHB62 for up to 62% off. Thank you so much for KeysFan for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to installing Windows ME. Same as before, I'm going to be using a program called Virtual PC 6. And if you want the ISO file to this program, it will be in the description. So this will let you make a virtual machine of any Windows version from Windows 95 all the way up to Windows XP. But yeah, today we're gonna be installing ME because personally, I've never used that Windows version. I've never pretty much done any tasks on it. I don't even know how it works or anything. And I really wanted to check it out and install it. So yeah, we're gonna do that today. So here is my brand new Windows ME CD. I burned this like six or seven years ago and I've never used it. So let's just put it in the DVD drive. And we can also open up Virtual PC 6 and configure the virtual machine. So you can see that I was trying to install Windows 7 on this thing, but I actually never got that to work. If you guys want me to try further, I would be really, really interested in doing that because I really want to get Windows 7 to work on an iMac G3. I think that would be extremely cool. So I'll just delete that one. I'll leave the Windows XP one because that one is actually a working machine. So let's make a new one and we'll click Create PC manually. We'll do install operating system onto an empty PC. And here we go. Here is the Windows ME option. And we're gonna click next. So for ME, I think the perfect amount would be 256 megabytes. I don't think anyone really had more than that back in the day. So I'll select that. I won't enable undo drives and Windows ME is just fine. I also find it really funny that the default picture is actually Windows XP over here. And I believe this is like a Power Mac G3 but an earlier one, the old beige one. So yeah, we're gonna click next and then we're gonna create the machine. Okay, so let's go into the settings and configure stuff a bit further. So yeah, under memory, I am going to give it 16 megs of VRAM because why not? And everything else is selected fine. So let's just start up the machine and install Windows ME. And we're gonna click boot from CD-ROM. And here we'll click start Windows setup from CD-ROM. And now I will also full screen the machine if we can do that. Here it is, full screen mode. 
Nice, there we go. And here we are in the Windows ME setup. And I already feel uneasy. I can't believe I'm actually gonna install this. A lot of you guys got really mad that I put the Windows Mistake Edition image in that other video. I just thought it was really funny, but yeah. So you can press enter to continue. And now the setup will perform a routine check on your system. I've never seen this option before because other Windows setups don't have it. So we can press enter to continue. So yeah, this setup seems to be a lot closer to the Windows XP setup, but it has elements of the Windows 98 setup. As you can see right here, this looks exactly the same as Windows 98. So this setup is a really good middle ground for uh, those two setups because I really like this 98 interface, but I also like the simplicity of the Windows XP setup and the fact that you don't need a floppy disk for uh, Windows XP and you also don't need one for Windows ME. So let's next the setup. The directory is just fine. And now it will check for installed components. We are gonna do the typical installation. Okay, so let's click display list of components because I want to see what it... And yeah, it's a good thing we clicked that because it wouldn't install a bunch of things and I want all of the extra software, of course, because who wouldn't? Yeah, give me the desktop themes. Come on, that is the most important thing as well as games on these things. You can't install Windows without desktop themes. Okay, what else do we have? Multi-language, that's fine. Yeah, I think we selected everything so we can click next. Okay, for the computer name, I'll call it iMac G3, three, because that is what we are installing it on. Work group, we'll call it Game Boy Hub. There we go, and click next. Uh, I'm just gonna leave United States because it's not that important. And the time also isn't important, so we can just next that. And I believe the installation will now start. Yeah, here we go, ready to begin copying files. So we'll just click finish and I guess wait for this process to complete. I am noticing that this installation is a lot faster than the Windows XP one. Of course, this one runs as it should. And as I said, this program was probably intended for this or Windows 2000, so that is why. So I'll just make a little time lapse of the file copying right now and I'll be back when it's finished. And here we are at the point in the installer where it needs to restart. So restart now. And now we will boot from hard disk. And there we go, we get the Windows ME startup screen. It is really fitting with the green iMac though, since the logo is mainly green. And there we go, now we get the actual Windows ME interface. It doesn't look like Windows 98 anymore. So now we need to do all of the regular stuff like setting up the hardware. So now it is asking for our name. So we'll put in Game Boy Hub and the company will leave blank and click next. And we'll accept the license agreement here. And now we need to type in a product key. So I'll just go find one right now. Okay, so I just found a key online that worked for me. I tried several keys, but they didn't work, but this last one worked. So yeah, pretty much if you need a key for any type of these old Windows installations, just Google Windows ME product key or Windows 98 product key. And you can either go to the website and try the ones that people have put on the website. But even better is to go in the images and look at actual product key pictures that are like on old machines. And yeah, that one personally worked for me. So I'll just click finish and the setup should hopefully complete now. And now it is asking for a restart again. So we'll do that. And we'll once again boot from hard disk. And now the remaining setup will be done in this beautiful high resolution, finally. So yeah, I'll just wait for it to set up the rest of the hardware and I'll be back when everything is finished. So 
So the setup is just copying files right now, so I'll just stop the recording and skip to the actual Windows ME startup. This isn't really that interesting, and also I don't have much more space left on my camera, so yeah. So yeah, I'll be back when we are officially in Windows ME. And well, that installation took more than two hours, which is quite surprising. This was painfully slow. And like the last loading bit, as you can see, some icons are still loading, but the last loading bit took about 40 minutes, which is insane. So yeah, now I'll just restart this machine. I'll take out the CD out of the drive and I'll reboot the virtual machine that might fix a few of the loading slowdowns. And after that, we'll just explore this version of Windows a little bit. So I just restarted the virtual machine and we even got the startup sound this time. So that is pretty cool. I guess everything works right now. And yeah, Windows ME actually seems to be pretty usable on this iMac. Everything takes quite a while to load as you can see, but it is perfectly fine. Like you can use it absolutely fine. Except it has some of the visual effects from Windows 2000, like uh, my computer and recycle bin over here. But everything else is very similar to Windows 98. So let's try to play a game because thankfully we installed all of them. So yeah, Pinball is already here. So let's launch that. And wow, Space Cadet Pinball on an iMac. And we even get the sound. So yeah, 3D Pinball works pretty good, all of the graphics seem fine. And that is probably because Virtual PC has all of the drivers for this iMac built in, so you can pretty much do everything out of the box. You just install the Windows version, restart it, and then everything is fine, so yeah. Also, if you didn't know, 3D Pinball Space Cadet is actually a demo version of a game. I believe it's called 3D Pinball, where you actually have more tables, not just this Space Cadet theme. And I believe that game actually came out for Mac OS. So yeah, I guess you could play this if you were running only Mac OS, but this is just more fun. So let's try some other game. So we also have to try Solitaire, of course, because this wouldn't be a retro Windows video without Solitaire. So let's go classic. Ah, yes, the little card icons. This fish one was always my favorite. So yeah, Solitaire also seems to work just fine, as you can see. I haven't played Solitaire in a while, I forgot how fun this was. Ooh, we also must check out the themes, let me see how I can get to that. So here we have all of the little backgrounds that we have. Ah, there we go, now we have the little Windows ME background. I don't know if you guys knew, but you can actually click on this logo. And yeah, if you click on that logo, MSN Internet Access opens and then you can like, I don't know, do internet, I guess. And all of the classic screensavers seems to be here, which is pretty cool. So let's try out the classic 3D pipes screensaver. Oh yeah, this is definitely 90s goodness if I've ever seen some. I used to love this 3D pipes screensaver when I was a kid. My Windows XP machine had it. Let's try out flying windows. Oh yeah, this one's even more retro. <laughs> And another cool classic is, of course, 3D Maze. And it actually runs pretty decent on this iMac, I didn't expect that. I guess it is because we gave it 16 megabytes of VRAM to work with. Yeah, let's also mess around with the appearance because we did download all of these themes and oh, look at that. Oh, we're gonna make this look great. <laughs> oh yeah, Windows Standard Large, this is what it this is what old people used. Yeah, I think we must do the high contrast one. That one is the best. <laughs> oh, it doesn't suit this wallpaper very well. And yeah, let's also change the... Can we also change the font? No, we can't. What can we change the font for? Oh, we don't want MS Sans. You, you know which one we want. Where is Comic Sans? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> look at that. We can turn down the size a little bit. Was it on eight? Let's also change all of the other ones if we can. Oh, we can definitely change that. Let's go for more Comic Sans. 
I'll change absolutely everything to Comic Sans. <laughs> okay, I think we've messed around enough with this. This looks like something straight out of a Vaporwave video. So yeah, that'll be pretty much it for this Windows ME video. If you guys have any questions about the software or anything else that I've used in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.